Okay, well here's a little better look at the camper. Now that we got her out in the open and the light. This is the pressurized water system. You can put air in there, I think. I don't know if this is a pressure gauge or how much water's in there, but I think the gauge is off a little bit anyways. But I think you can just hook a hose up here and run it like that too. Um, it's not on the trailer exactly how I want it yet. It's got to come this way a little bit. Water heater. I think it's like a little six gallon or something like that. Someone even took the drain plug out of it, so that's all good. Lost one of my tail lamps on the bringing it back to my house. My little uh, homemade wire job to get the power in there for now, just so I can try it out. Wasp. But I got power in there now. Two tanks, they seem to have some some propane in them. I think I'll probably replace these lines and stuff. At least these braided ones. Not sure if they leak, but you never know. Um, I think this fridge is just straight LP. I'm not seeing a compressor on it anywhere. So if that's the case, it's got to go. Unless anybody can tell me different by looking at it here, but I'm not seeing a compressor at all. Made in Japan. So if it's not, I'm going to pull it out and I'll put it just a regular plug-in fridge. Because there is a plug-in up behind here. I, this plug-in, I think, is just thrown like, I don't know, fan or something. Wasp. Look at the bee. As everybody else calls them. But yeah, so if that's the case, I'm going to pull a sunbitch out and put a regular plug-in fridge in there. Now you can kind of see in here. This top part folds down into some sort of small bed for kids, I would assume. It, otherwise, it folds up as a cupboard. Ow. Yeah, mice got into that. That's That cushion's ruined. It's all fucked up, so I'm going to get rid of it. I think this bottom part is also a bed. Uh, you pull the table out, and I think you can put a piece of wood here where these little slats are, and then you can pull or stick that one of these extra cushions down there to make up for that. Bathroom with full shower and sink. There's even toilet paper in here. Um, this light seems to only, you know, be the only one that works with the switch, which is up here. Um, otherwise all the other lights stay on unless you turn them off by themselves, so that might just, maybe that's just where the switch is for it, but glue up that a little bit but it does have a shower curtain and everything in here this light must be burnt out unless that's only a 12 volt light I'm not sure yeah I bet that's only a 12 volt light I think these little click on lights are just little 12 volters yeah there's this light fan doesn't do nothing this lights burnt out that bulb was bad I took it out um, there's more lights up there they turn on but yeah, bed. I sh hope it's savable. It's a pretty good sized bed. Pull the plastic off. I'm going to vacuum this thing out. Yeah. Oh, it is a gas electric. wonder why it's not kicking on. At least according to that sticker, it's a gas electric. Uh, I don't know. I'll look into that more. It's not turning on power's on and I don't think there's a switch or anything for it anymore. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. Well. It's set to electric and it's not doing nothing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll play with this some more. Well, even if it, if it don't work, then I'll just put a regular mini fridge in here. It's got the space for it, so I'll just pop it out and put a different one in there. Um, there's a furnace in here. 
Not sure how that's going to work. Probably won't ever need it. Stove and everything. It definitely needs a good cleaning. That's all I got to say. But actually, it's not like water damaged or anything. It's not rotting. Um, roof needs to be sealed, but I got some sealer. But otherwise, I mean, it's pretty good shape. There is a lot of these cabinet latches are busted, so I want to replace them with something. But there is a pressure tank in here and a pump for water. I don't know if there is an onboard tank or what, how that works. But I'll figure that out as I go. I and mean, it's all wired up and everything. From the last video, I did figure out what the speaker is for. The wire actually runs out up to here to the slider window, so when it's in the pickup, you slide the back window open, you can hook it into the stereo in the pickup. So when it's in the pickup, uh, you'll have tunes back here. But uh, I can fix that with just a regular radio. Put some wood back down on the back of the trailer here to fix uh, that step problem. Well, yeah, it shouldn't work too bad. Huh. What is that? Zast, Zast Pow Camper Sales Amboy, Minnesota. So this came from where my boss lives. I have no idea the make, the brand of this thing. I mean, as far as I could tell, it just says honey. Elkland, Elkhart, Indiana. How sweet it is. That's all the sticker I found on it. There's no badges or anything I've found so far. I mean, unless there's some hidden in here somewhere, but... I don't know. I'm going to play around with it some more and get some more things done with this and start cleaning out. So, we'll get more on this later.